Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Guys, welcome into the building. So, we gotta talk about this reunion. The most dramatic, explosive, long-anticipated final part of the Vanderpump reunion finally aired. So, that's part three. Let's get right into it, you guys. I am... In a way, I'm sad that the show is over, but I'm so glad the show is over, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But, so we had left off last week with Raquel arriving to the set with everyone. So she's there, and they get the ball rolling. But before anything, she does say that she is embarrassed and owes a lot of apologies. There's obviously so much to this story, so it's hard to know where to start, but they begin with the Vegas girl trip. Raquel starts by saying that she was made to feel very uncomfortable in that trip. She says she got very drunk and that her personality definitely shifted this summer. And she says, I've been very selfish to you, Ariana. And Ariana says, selfish doesn't cut it. You've been diabolical, demented, blah, blah, blah. And Raquel says, well, I feel like I'm a human. And in that moment, the two vultures, also known as Lala and James, just start going in completely. I couldn't stand it. I wish they would have shut up. But Andy does call it diabolical that Raquel talked to Ariana about her sex life with Sandoval when she was sleeping with him, which that was a very wrong, very disturbing, but The word diabolical is very strong, very, it's too much of a word to be used around lightly, and I think it's a stretch. I mean, in this situation, people were hurt, but everybody is alive. But as Raquel begins to explain herself, her part of the story, Ariana tells her to shut the F up, and then she says that she hopes the worst thing to ever happen to a person happens to her. That made my stomach hurt that is extreme and i hope that ariana knows that everything you say and you wish onto people comes back to you so she better watch out for what's coming but then raquel says you know lala and james can't talk since they slept with each other while they were dating people lala gets up and says i was not your best friend ho let me just say this if anyone on this planet And apparently it looks like there are some people who think this. But if you think that cheating on someone who's not your friend doesn't matter, but it does matter when you were friends with them, then you have, I'm so like, that makes no sense to me. You have like no logic. It's like if I go and I rob someone who I don't know, I'm not going to go to the judge and tell the judge, well, judge, you know, he wasn't my friend, so it doesn't matter if I robbed him. Make it make sense. But then Lisa Vanderpump tells Lala that she's projecting, which she was. I mean, she was acting hysterical, getting up, shouting, screaming. And every time Sandoval tried to talk or say anything, they shut him up. And Ariana... She was such a fake in this reunion. The way she was laughing about any little thing. And it wasn't giving, Ariana. You could have done much better. If I don't believe this is what you are. But you could have played the poor little girlfriend who got cheated on. And have people actually have sympathy for you. And a lot of people do. Because they're sheep. Um, But yeah, you did a really bad job. And after the commercial, they talk uh, about Schwartz and Raquel and that weird storyline tom Schwartz is trying to explain what happened he even says that he did feel uh, actual chemistry with her and raquel says that she does too but again ariana interrupts and apparently everything leads back to sandoval and raquel but lvp does ask an important question how could you be with schwartz when you were smashing sandoval raquel and she says that well she was putting a cap on Sandoval and like focusing on something else which is it's crazy there's really no way to like justify that then Andy wants to talk about the Lala revelation that she made which was when she did it to Raquel and she said that she smashed James while James was dating Raquel I think Raquel deserves some type of award 
only for showing up and being calm and trying to explain because Lala, you know, she was saying that you need to get evaluated. Raquel says, I am my love. And Andy wants to keep talking about it, but James doesn't want to talk about it. Like, what the hell? You got to talk about it, mate. But it just sucks because it, it's almost as if Lala and James thought that because of that scandal, they had a get out of jail free card, which is not the case. But then Andy talks about the drink that James threw at Schwartz's face. Sandoval tries to say something. James covers his ears and starts making weird noises and tells him to shut up. Keep in mind, this person is 31 years old. It's embarrassing. But coming back from the commercial, they talk about the threesome comments, insinuations that happened. Ariana denies ever having a threesome with Raquel or with anyone. I think she's lying, but they move on. Raquel says that she's been staying with uh, her family and, you know, she had doubts about coming to the reunion because of all the embarrassment that she feels towards Ariana and apologizes once again. So Andy says, why did you do it? You know, Raquel says she felt a real connection with Sandoval where she could confide in him and feel seen and heard. Ariana interrupts, says that she is she, I'm saying Raquel, that Raquel is ugly, disgusting, rotten. And after Raquel says that she loves Sandoval, Andy asks Sandoval if he loves her. And he takes a little bit of a pause, but he says, yes, he is in love with her. Ariana says, I'm about to laugh. I really wish Andy could have told her, I understand you're mad, but can you be quiet for just a second while they talk? Ariana calls Sandoval nothing. He says that he is nothing. And he, she says that Raquel is dead to everyone. So apparently Ariana speaks for everyone. And you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on. So Raquel gets up and exits for just a second. And he says, come back. But Ariana says, yeah, leave. Nobody wants you here. My God. Gosh, Andy, you should have grown up here and told this girl to be quiet. Um, Raquel just needed some water, so she comes back. They talk about the Sandoval lying about the night of the jacuzzi and all that. He says he did not sleep with her that night. He says they never slept at his house. Those are all lies. We know. But Andy also asks about, you know, these crazy groupies who are fighting in the name of Ariana. He says that he understands and that she deserves all the support. Ariana says that she appreciates the support and it's the only thing that's made her keep going. And she starts to cry, but I see not a single tear come out of her eyes. But she says that she can't think of two worse people. And that she didn't deserve this. She says that they are gross. That they are an abomination. And, you know, she should know. Because she did the same thing. Just saying, you know. And then she says that their life is going down the gutter. They also bring up the weird things that Sandoval and Raquel did during the affair. Like Sandoval dressing up like Raquel for Halloween. Raquel buying that lightning bolt necklace. Which was so dumb. If you don't want to get caught, why would you do these things? Even LVP drags Raquel and tells her that it's sick for her to have been doing all this. I'm glad that LVP did that because I was not liking people bashing her. So good that LVP called her out. She's just reasonable. Andy asks Ariana what happened to her eggs. She still has them. She didn't fertilize them with him, so that's not an issue. And when Ariana points out that Sandoval was still screwing her while he was screwing Raquel, he says, yeah, you had your shirt on and it was hot. That was a low blow. But it's crazy and unrealistic for anyone to expect someone who's being insulted every second not to insult someone back i mean let's use our brain people but then andy asks um raquel so rachel is your real name right she says yeah rachel is my real name in first grade there were two girls that were also named rachel so i wanted to be different and she points out that lala's name is not lala it's lauren and lala tries to deflect and say that's not a name that's a nickname 
So Raquel says, well, Raquel is a nickname also. I haven't changed my name legally. It's just something that my friends call me. And then another disgusting comment from Ariana is she says, you don't have any more friends and you never will. So it doesn't matter, Rachel. WTF, you guys. This is beyond bullying in my opinion. The girl did a mistake, but for Ariana to say that her life is going to be in the gutter, that the worst thing is going to happen to her, that she's never going to have friends again, who says all that stuff, especially coming from a cheater? But they are also, you know, saying that... Andy asks, how did this go from a one-night stand to a relationship? And they both said what they've been saying before. They caught feelings, but they don't know what the future will be which is very interesting and that pretty much told me that they never wanted to have a real relationship they just wanted to have fun to be honest or at least sandoval maybe raquel caught some feelings but he never intended to date this girl um but before she is let go andy asks if it is possible for her to work things out with anyone in the group obviously the answer is no she apologizes to anyone that she hurt and it's all, it's all she really could do. Lala says that, you know, she's living for this moment because she loves how somebody who she loves is getting her revenge. And then Sandoval is like, you don't really love Ariana. And then she says, yes, I do. I loved her so much that I ate her out in your truck. Does she really think that makes her look good saying something like that? And by the way, Lala... Yeah, I don't think Ariana loves you that much because I don't know if you guys heard about this. Ariana went on a podcast recently and when asked who was in their close circle, she said none of the people from Vanderpump Rules are. So you're the one ending up looking like a fool. Anyway, Raquel is let go and they take a five minute break. She's changing. Sandoval is with her in the dressing room. They talk about what just happened and, you know, she leaves. Then Sheena comes back for the final thoughts segment. They're all giving their little thoughts. And Andy says to Sandoval, do you think you can move on with anyone in this group? And he begins to cry. You know, he apologizes. He says he will always love and cheer for Ariana. And on him, I actually did see real tears stripping on his face. Just saying. And Ariana then says she will never forgive him. Lisa Vanderpump has the final word and she says that, you know, she hopes that at some point at least some of them can find some forgiveness or compassion in their hearts. And Andy calls it a wrap and that's that. Then, what we've all been waiting for, six days later Raquel sat down for her final interview and she says that it's very important to tell the truth because she can't lie anymore. She says that they did hook up in Mexico multiple times she has spent time with his family she even suggested to sandoval that maybe they could all be a throuple her him and ariana she admits that sandoval told her what to say to get in line with one storyline and that's it that's all we got you guys, I've been waiting a week to know what this big secret is because you guys remember they told us, they said this secret is going to change the dynamic of the group. You're going to look at people differently. We thought it was going to be something major, some real bombshell. And that's what we got Raquel telling us that what we basically already knew, that they were lying about the, the timeline and that they did smash in the house while Ariana's grandmother had passed away. We knew that. We already knew that. So it makes me so upset that they had us, you know, thinking something was going to happen. And that, I don't know. I didn't have like a specific thing I was thinking. I was maybe thinking that maybe Ariana or Sheena knew something like that. But this was a disappointment. So ending on that note, I am glad this show is over. And I also want to say to all you guys watching... I know that it may seem like I'm on Sandoval or Raquel's side, and I'm not, okay? Raquel and Sandoval are horrible people for what they did. Pardon me. They did a horrible thing. I'm not going to judge them as a human being for what they did. So I correct myself. They did a horrible thing, and it's really bad what they did because I 
feel for anyone who has been cheated on in the in the past i mean it's something so bad like it's someone really degrading you to go out with someone else and have that intimacy that they were supposed to have with you now with that being said i am not team ariana because she also was with a man who had a girlfriend at the time and i also don't support bullying i don't care what y'all call it a lot of these people on twitter on social media they like to bandwagon they're sheep who can't have a thought of their own and a lot of them project their own traumas onto things like these so for everyone going around harassing sandoval harassing raquel shame on you you're not perfect you've done mistakes and you will not be defined by the mistakes you make because that's not life that's why we have a heart to forgive to have compassion if that takes some time for other people that's fine but at this point you guys are more mad at them than ariana is which is bizarre to me so everyone i I just want to remind you guys these are just tv shows don't get too invested on them it is what it is these people don't even know you but as far as this season 10 of vanderpump rules that was all we caught you guys who would have thought i remember covering the first episode i would have never thought this was going to turn into this so that's the crazy part but i aside from all the bullying and all the negative stuff i do really appreciate you know being part of you guys hearing me and commenting and talking to you guys so let me know what are your final thoughts of this part were you disappointed as well with the secret that was not really revealed let me know and just your overall thoughts you guys please don't forget to like and subscribe i'll catch y'all next time and y'all have a great one bye